Hello, Nicole here with Blue Siren Designs, and today we're going to go over my October budget and then start my November budget. First, we're going to go through how much I spent for October. We do keep our income private. Moving on to spending, we did save $300. We spent $47.33 on gas. Food, this one was a big one this month, so $856.74. And miscellaneous says, well, this was a big month, $897.06. We did not spend anything on medical. For debt, we spent $2,900. Bringing the $300 down to my sinking funds area, I want to allocate it to each of these. So Christmas, we added $100. So we have $1,000 set aside for Christmas. For car, we added $200. So that would be $1,400. And emergency fund is $1,000 and medical state $900. We do plan on bringing our emergency fund up to 10,000 next year after we pay down my loans. So for loans, we paid $2,900 towards this 18,600. So we are down to 15,700. So we're trying to have a goal of under 10,000 by December. And I really think we're gonna make it, I hope so. The mortgage, it goes down by about $400 every month, so that is $89,600. Now I like doing this visual tracker using this information. And this one is for October. I'm going to do this blue color. For Christmas, we went up to $1,000. And these squares are just $100 each. And it goes for 10 squares going across. And our goal is to have $1,200 by December. For the car, we're trying to save up $25,000 for a new car or maintenance along the way for our older cars. So we did add $200 to that. Again, these are by $100. And then going to mortgage and loans, these are in thousands. So the mortgage is down to 89,600. So I would like to mark off this one here so that it's in the 89,000s. Same with loans, that is at 15,700. So I'd like it to be in the 15,000, so I will mark off these 3,000 boxes here. And that way there's 15,000 for the boxes left over. Going past this tracker, this is my retirement tracker, the next goal to fill in would be $25,000. i am still at around $18,000, I believe, so I can't fill in that one just yet. Here is my planned budget page for November 2020. I do want to keep our actual paycheck private, so I will be using real numbers for everything except for fixed expenses. That way, this number is not our actual paycheck, but it does include actual numbers for the rest of the planned budget. So income, 5355 and $0.89. Cents. I'm going to take out $300 from our Christmas fund. So maybe I should have just wrote Christmas sinking fund. I'm taking out 300 because we will be traveling for Christmas actually at the end of November. So I did want to have enough money there for gas and traveling and all of that. So the total here would be 5,655. 
Then I would go down to my fixed expenses and write down all of the fixed expenses. Items that get automatically taken out or they're the same thing every month. For example, mortgage. And you can even write to the side here what day it gets taken out. I'm just gonna write a thousand, that's not our actual mortgage, but again, fixed expenses. I'm just doing a little different than what we actually have. Utilities, for example, $200. Then what I would do, come down here and add up all your fixed expenses. Then you take the total from your income, subtract this total from fixed expenses, and you end up with $4,555.89. From now on, these will be our actual numbers. So for transportation, this would be items like gas or maintenance on the car or something like this. And we're going to allocate $100 for gas. That is a little more than what we usually use, but again, we're traveling at the end of November, so we wanted a little bit extra. I'm going to subtract that from this total. I do have a medical appointment in November, so I will allocate $50 to that. Going up to food, this would be groceries and eating out. We like to allocate $150 per week. So I'm going to do 5 times 150, and that'll be 750. I know that seems like a lot, but we end up using this amount. And, and you saw in October, we actually spent in the 800s, which was really bad. So hopefully in November we can do a little better. But that one will be 750. And subtracting from the previous total on the bottom, I get 3,655.89. So to get miscellaneous, this covers really anything else we spend our money on. I'm going to first look at our savings and debt goals. So let me bring this down. I have 3,655 left. I like to put around $600 for miscellaneous. I do want our Christmas fund and car fund to be 100 and 200. So that's $300. So I'm down to 3,300. And Debt, I want to be around 3000 so I'm going to have to go down to 2800 for November and that is because I want this to be about 600 for miscellaneous so let's go through and subtract and see if I made it to a zero based budget I will take 3,655, subtract 300 and 2,800 to get how much is left for miscellaneous. And it is 555 and 89 cents. So I'm left with 3,100, subtracting 300, 2,800, going to the bottom here. 2800 minus 2800 is a zero based budget. So, this is how I plan out my monthly budget every month. We do use Every Dollar, which is a great app by Dave Ramsey, and that way my husband and I can both look at our, our budget on the go. So, that really helps. But if you do like using a paper copy of a transaction log, I do have that one as well. And it comes with this plan budget. And if you like any of these pages that you've seen today, or if you want some other options, these are all available in my Etsy shop, and I will link that down below. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe and like the video. 
for more videos like this and I will be doing this monthly video again on December 1st. So I hope to see you then and thanks for watching. Bye.